So there's wiggle room when you first put the plane on the runway. There's wiggle room with the parallel guide strip. So just make sure it's always tight against the bearing strip on the side of the shooting board. And with it there, just lightly press this way on the side of the parallel guide strip and begin to tighten down the screws, pressing towards the side of the shooting board. Um, and it may take a few times to get the proper fit. You don't want it to be too tight, obviously, but the important thing is that there not be any play side to side. So when you're pressing the workpiece tightly against the sole of the plane, the, the parallel guide strip will keep it from wandering away from this contact surface right here. So you don't want any side to side play, but you don't want it to pinch. So it's going to take a little bit of adjustment till you get that right feel. You can individually, um, pull these out of alignment just a little bit if you want, so that maybe this one right here could be a little bit looser, so that enables you to more easily feed it at the beginning of it. But by the time it's reached <clears throat> this distance, you don't want any, and check it by pre pressing it like this. There's a little bit of rock like that, you want to adjust it again so that it's properly tightened down. And this is true for both the Lee Valley shooting plane and the Lee Nielsen number 51 shoot board plane. And when you have this fence so that it's 90 degrees, you want to, um, when you want to establish that and tighten it down, first make sure that the sliding fence is tightened and put this in place. And when You've reached 90 degrees, then <clears throat> tighten down this far one because that's the one in the oversized hole. Tighten that down and tighten in this one and you'll be good to go. Uh, with changes in humidity from season to season, you want to periodically check that this hasn't moved. If the material really shrinks, then this could become loose. So just check it on occasion. With the donkey ear, again, make sure that this is properly tightened to the um, 90 degree fence. And once that is, then it's easier to use a um, plastic grafton triangle to make sure that it's set 90 degree to the sole. And when it is, first tighten this one that allows a little bit of wiggle room. Tighten that down and then this one and you're good to go.